Hello, I am Dr. Anirudh from Toothpicks Dental Healthcare, Jayanagar, Bangalore. A cyst is basically a lining, that's an epithelial lining inside the bone, when we are talking about dental cysts inside the oral cavity, which is lined by an epithelium which has got a fluid or a semi-fluid or inside the lining. So what happens uh, is that it's, uh, it's either attached to the bone, resulting in bone loss around the cyst uh, area. So after the surgery, sometimes there is a recurrence of cyst. There are a lot of reasons for that. First of all, we should know what kind of cyst is it, whether it's really a cyst or something else. Is it a, a benign tumor or a malignant tumor? We need to understand all these aspects of a cyst or a swelling inside the mouth or bone. Then we need to assess what kind of surgery has been done. Is it partially excised or completely removed from the area that's basically in the jaws you know, that we are talking here. So what happens is when we remove it from the jaw, the bone uh, basically, even the little bit of healthy bone is removed. Sometimes because this is all in microscopic level, some are in microscopic level, the epithelial layers sometimes are in microscopic levels. There can be some residual epithelial tissue or an infected tissue that's left over, which will recur the uh, possibility of these kind of cysts. However, uh, assessment, a regular follow-up and uh, understanding what has happened inside the mouth uh, will give the patient as well as the uh, clinician a better idea uh, especially in a surgical perspective because a surgical perspective is dependent on, on a lot of other things other than just the surgery a lot of other parameters the maintenance of by the patient the kind of medications that was taken the duration of the cyst and other things are very important uh, to assess a situation like this